Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we'll be doing a quick action pose in which two or three figures are standing back to back. So we are going to start with uh, a framework area, areas in that we need to determine in a specific area where the figures will be standing together. So let's say that we want to just tap into that that much and we have to confine them within this. So we know that the heads will go somewhere around there, the backs, and depending on how the placement of the legs is, somewhere that far, I think it should work. So we'll start with the first frame here. And actually I did start with it right from the get-go. So shoulders, torso, lower, lower body and we have some foreshortening going in there. So leg and leg and then of course depending on how this comes as we go gradually we'll be putting in the feet and everything but for now this is it. And I'm putting in the hand like so. So very basic pose. Collar area and there's the head. So let's just have him looking like uh, outward uh, or in front. And then we have a figure right here. So we're going to show him from the back but at so much of an angle. So shoulders, so pretty much the same placement except that the arm is just pulled back somewhat and we have the lower body right there, foot and in what will be again another foreshortening the second leg is right there and you notice that the thighs are small because again foreshortening means that we are looking at it from this angle and it looks smaller but it's actually that's the way things uh, appear to the eye and then I put his head out going that way and then let's actually do another one and that's uh, right at the back let's put in the head so he's looking that way that's for and the two-dimensional thing goes about like that so his eyes and features curl around, curl, curl around the face there shoulders back and let's say that his legs are going right out there and right out here. I know this is very convoluted right now but we're going to get it into a certain rhythm once we put down each figure. So I'm going about that exercise right now. It's a very very bulky forearm for that. So I made the arm shorter. So this guy is looking right in that direction. chest there, there's the, the ab area coming into view and then I go into this thigh right away. So 
So this can be, again, if you are using a pencil all through just to lay down the core framework, it should be very simple. So we put the first figure down. We'll go with this guy next since we have decided that he is in the foreground next. So the other arm just going around like that and to achieve the best dramatic or the best placement in this case we just go about like that so he's looking right ahead so there so it's a the defensive position I change the bulk around this guy a little bit and then showing this from that certain angle and appearing like that and that going There's the foreshortening going on like right there. I fix that. And then of course the chest and all it, it all varies of with the fact that we might want to make it bulky, thin. And then in the back right there is our third fellow keeping his own watch and I have put that face in that angle right there so his ears will be visible from a certain angle not like this from the side unless you turn his fa face uh, to, an, to the immediate right or left then it becomes different but otherwise so I'm just working some details here for him as well and trying to give him that outstretched so let's imagine that his lower body is going right there his hands not consequential right here but perhaps you could do that and show a bit of his hand here or you could just have it tucked in and hidden behind this guy here and then his thigh would be going like that and some foot placement going there. So three figures or you could also do a back to back with just two. But that is the general idea. So uh, thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with placement like this with different angles. Just drawing the frames is a lot of fun. Uh, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. Keep in touch. Have yourself a wonderful day.